Hi everyone. So I have been watching my analytics and I noticed that most people that come to my channel end up watching only the first 10 to 20 minutes of the content, which is okay. Uh, but that also means that if I make a video six hours long, well, no one really sits through the entire thing. I think viewers just go straight to the description and grab the content or the code, which is totally okay. So from now on, I will be making videos on how I completed a project and show the important steps, but not a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. And if you guys need guidance, then simply shoot me a message and I can help that way. I think most of you are already well-versed in coding. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Now we need three things. We need the AI chat window, the UI, a backend, which is the API, and finally the AI model. You can start in any order, but I'd like to start with training the model first. For that, I use the services of wit.ai. It is very easy to use and within no time, you can have your model ready. You do need a meta account, so you have, have to create one. You don't need to download anything, just log in and start training your model. You need to provide addresses and then tell the AI the intent and entities. Take your time with this one and think of what a user might ask when they chat with a human. This will make it easy when you build your API. Once this is complete, then we move on to building the backend or the API part. This is what tie the chat front end to the AI. For the backend, I use Node.js. You basically create a route and then call the with services with the whatever message the user type. Let me say this here. It's not as easy as simply pushing the message to the AI and then returning the response to the user. You still need to do a bit of work. For example, what is the user intent? Are they simply browsing or buying? Does the user need a specific color or size? This is why you need to train the model properly. Anyways, once you have figured that out, it's time to query the database and populate the response with the appropriate data. Now will be a good time to test the API with Postman to make sure the server is talking to the AI and getting the responses. Once that step is complete, we move on to the final step, which is building the chat window. You can use an off-the-shelf solution for this, but I wanted to challenge myself and try to build one. It's a React component with some material UI applied to it to make it look fancy. We position it properly and then apply some styling. Now all you do is simply call your backend through a service and display the results as they come in and voila, you have an AI chatbot. If you have more specific questions regarding this, just shoot them in the comment and I'll reply accordingly. Bye for now.